hi all welcome to jarks so this is the very first tutorial for desktop automation so now desktop automation is possible to using selenium so there are few requirements is there for setting up this uh, desktop automation these are all the prerequisites needed thing in system level so first we need a windows 10 operating system then we have we can achieve this thing in two different manner one is with appium another one is without appium in this tutorial session i'm going to discuss about how to achieve windows automation without using appium so for without using appium we need a winamp driver so here i am mentioning the link where we can get this winamp driver for system so then another one thing in windows sdk they launch inspect exe for identifying the windows oriented apps so win windows application we can find that particular element id based on this inspect exe so here i am i am mentioning this uh, windows 10 sdk uh, web address to get this exe so then another last and important thing is we need to enable the developer option in windows so then only you know system will allow to handle the selenium you know uh, system is allowed to handle automation in windows this is the sample code so in selenium they introduced windows driver so this is the new driver so using this windows driver we can achieve the automation in desktop applications so here we are setting the set capability so there is the app type we need to set the app type so it so currently i am taking the calculator application in desktop so this is the calculator application id so if we don't know the id we can give the path of that exe where the exe is exactly located we can give that path also so instead of this id we can directly give the path so then i am creating that new uh, uh, new object for windows windows driver new url 127.0.0.1 colon 4723 so currently i am showing this thing in without using appium if we are using uh, with the appium after this 4723 we need to use uh, give wd slash hub so that is the only difference between with appium and without appium so now i am going to show how to download winamp driver and windows sdk So please select this link this is for winamp driver download copy this link paste it in browser yeah this is the latest download version so you can download this winamp driver dot msi so this is the installer in windows so please download this msi yeah save this file yeah now download is completed we need another one important file you can copy this link so this link i mentioned in this uh, description session you can uh, copy these links in description session yeah in this exe download download that exe so you need to download this exe save this file now the download is completed now i'm opening the downloaded folder so this is the two uh, two files which we downloaded now 
so in my system I already installed WinApp driver so I am going to show so here it will ask the next it's simple simple installation steps you can give the next next and finish that's it so in the time of next each system will ask the location which location i need to install you need to select the location by default system will take c colon programming files otherwise you can also change this location so you can click the finish then win sdk setup so this is the installer this is the windows sdk installer so it you know the 2 gb memory size so it's taking some time for completing this overall download session so for in this system i already download so no uh, i'm closing this uh, you know this uh, part so otherwise you can click this next so by default the installation will start the last and important thing is we need to enable uh, developer option in settings so now i am going to show how to enable the developer option so in windows you need to type settings click the settings then you need to type updates you can click windows update settings maximize this window in left panel for you can, you can there you can there is the one option for developers click this developer option then there is a developer mode is there you you need to click this developer mode then there is another window will come are you sure you want to enable the developer option you can click the confirmation button there so then you can able to automate windows application using selenium so this is the basic uh, setup so in next video we will uh, uh, i will discuss about this uh, how to use this inspector how to set up the basic uh, project so these are all the things in next video we will discuss thanks for watching please subscribe if you like this video, please like this.